Welcome to another 2 minute tidbit where I try to show you something interesting in less than 2 minutes. In this video I'm going to talk about managing your ESP8266 sketches configurations using Wi-Fi Manager library. In my other video on Wi-Fi Manager I showed you how to avoid hard coding your Wi-Fi credentials into your sketch. In this video I'm going to show how you can avoid hard coding other configurations in your sketch which is useful as you won't need to reprogram your device if you want to change them and it also makes your sketches more shareable as you don't want to be checking in your API keys. Your sketch will need a couple of things before we can use this. You'll need to be able to enable config mode on command because previously config mode would happen when your network wouldn't connect but now your network may connect but you want to change one of the configurations. The easiest way to do this is just with a button. You will also need to persist your configurations across restarts and I think the best thing for this is spiffs. Andreas Spice has a great video on this which I'll link in the description below. Now let's see how it looks with configurations. If the ESP fails to connect to the network or the user presses the button it will launch the ad hoc network as before. This time there will be two additional options where the user can put in the API key and the channel key. Now let's take a look at the sketch. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. I'll just go through the steps for configuring the Wi-Fi manager, but if you have any questions, please ask. Save config callback is called if the user enters config mode and lets the sketch know if it needs to save the configuration. Next we need to define the custom parameters and add them to Wi-Fi manager. The parameters of four inputs, an ID, a prompt text like I have for API key, a default value like I have for channel ID, and a max length. You get the values from the parameters using their get value method. You'll also see that I've added a password to the ad hoc network for extra security. Hopefully you found this interesting and if you have any questions please let me know.